For being such a huge scaredy cat that I am, I also can't believe I'm okay with this. Like, just being in the middle of nowhere, sleeping, there could literally be the most scariest stuff happening out here. But I'm not gonna listen. most active we've ever been while camping. We usually just sit and eat. I feel like this camping trip is kind of our comeback trip. Camping and being outdoorsy was such a big part of my husband and um, my relationship and the last two years have been really tough because not only was there a global pandemic and it was tough for everyone, but it definitely was, a, was one of the toughest times in our marriage yet, but also I think in many ways in our adult life and learning to navigate this trip is extra meaningful for me because it feels like we're kind of coming back to where we were before and also to a place where we were really in love and at peace with each other so um, I'm really just happy to be camping and be doing this It's all about the oh yes. Why is my husband making that face? It's so good, it's so much better than chocolate pie. Highly recommend. You guys ready for a camping nighttime? <laughs> Get ready with me. Nighttime routine. Okay, I'm just gonna use this water. I brought some very basic skincare. My husband has this like lantern thingy that we're using for the light. First, I'm gonna wash my hands with soap. Oh my gosh, this water is so cold. Whoa, that's actually pretty refreshing. Okay, I gotta cleanse. My little travel kit. Can't see nothing. I'm gonna rinse off all the smoke, all the sunscreen. I'm gonna do my lineage toner. I'm actually gonna do some skincare. Do a little bit of retinol. Just because we're campy doesn't mean we can't take care of our skin, right, ladies? Okay. My least favorite thing to do. Using the restroom at night up here. Oh shoot. Oh wait, you're not gonna come with me. I'm gonna come with you, but I'm just not gonna look. Okay. Okay. You need to see where you're going. Like 
Hubby, are you gonna pee too? He's gonna pee on the fire. A few moments later. Okay, that was a success. And now, gotta change. I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. Wow. I didn't even eat lemon. Look at my face. You already know. This morning, I woke us up because I had to pee at like 4.30 a.m. And then my husband was like, I'm so awake, I'm so awake, let's just do stuff, let's do stuff. He was all like, I already woke up, I'm up, let's do something, right? And like watch the sunrise or something. Then he started to get dressed. And then, and then he was outside. And then he came back to the car, freaking out. And he was like, there's something. There's something in the trees. There's something. I think it's a bear. If it's a bear, we're screwed. And then he like runs back into the car. He slams the door shut. And I could tell he's like shit scared to his bones. I told him I would protect him. We went back to bed. I think maybe it was just sleepiness talking or something. And then all of a sudden he wasn't scared of a bear anymore. What do you have to say to that? So that was our morning. It's just I, had, oh, I don't have a lot of content. But we are going to our second location now. So we packed up a lot of stuff and then he wanted to try out a second place. So that's what we're going to do. Nothing like your smile in the morning. On your cheeks Cause baby in your absence Life is boring So I'll never leave There's just something so comforting about being inside a hammock. It just feels like you're back in your mother's womb or something. And it's just like everything's enveloping <laughs> around you. And it's so comforting. And then you have this view of like trees in the sky, right? So I don't know, it's just so nice. And also like the sun's like heating this so the wind isn't getting to me. Uh, I highly recommend everybody go get a hammock and even take it just to a park and just relax. Something about it is just so soothing. I love Seattle summers. Checking out the road for tomorrow when we head back. And there's definitely some pretty bad divots. Is it bad? Oh gosh. Yeah, Hunter, we can't come this way. Like, look at that. That's probably gonna be a no. How cool. 
Tell me why we're still watching YouTube as we're <laughs> camping in the middle of nowhere. We love Doobie Doobop, all of her videos, so. I really wanted to look cute for this vlog, but this is the best I can do. Urban to you, call cheese. I'm the call cheese. Fucking boss, your girl's eyes going to be swish and rope on the road near the forest. But she forged away the nuts just for none. I'm busted. I'm busted. I'm on mama's house. It's not the case out your mouth. Take the biscuits and dip them, then dip them in the tea that I'm spilling. Room spinning from the eggs in my system. Pure swing for a bop with my jaw swinging vicious. My girl crying on the phone. No, it's where she a big thing. Okay, I'm going to sound crazy, but I swear. This fire is listening to me. Whenever the, the smoke comes my way and I look at it, I glare and I tell it to move, it moves. I'm telling you, something's, something's weird. Okay, it's coming towards me, right? Now I'm gonna glare. <laughs> I swear it's listening to me.